Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. So today we're going to talk about what is AWS SSM and what it do and how you can configure and manage your instances through AWS SSM. Okay. So what is AWS SSM? AWS SSM is AWS System Manager. Okay. So it's basically an agent which which runs on your EC2 instance and enables you to quickly uh, and easily execute remote commands or scripts against one or more main instances. Okay, the agent use SSS documentation and all that which we'll see in our uh, this lecture. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to AWS System Manager. So uh, these all things you can configure. You can uh, manage any compliance, compliance inventory and uh, you can manage session you can run commands you can manage state of your ec2 instances all those all these things you can configure remotely on your ec2 instance okay so now let's suppose go to our manage instances so currently we have no instances so what we need to configure aws ssm to work with our uh, ec2 instances is to install ssm agent first of all configure instance role and then our instance will be visible here okay so oh, one thing okay now let's okay we'll talk about it let's go to ec2 and create one ec2 instance launch instance i'll choose linux 2 ami instance type i'll choose t2 configure instance okay everything is fine add storage i'm happy with my 8 gb add tags i'm gonna give it a name tag as always name tag ssm demo configure security group uh, for this let's remove this okay review launch okay so we have launched our ec2 instance so if you have noticed that i have already disabled 422 on this instance because we won't be logging in to our uh, this instance okay so how we will install this SSM agent? Okay. So one thing we need to keep in mind that uh, from now on, uh, all the AMIs in AWS have pre-installed SSM agent. Okay. So we need not have to worry about this now. And now one thing we need to do is we need to attach one role so that AWS SSM can manage this our EC2 instance. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll uh, we can also uh, go to instance setting and attach our role here also but I'll not do this I'll go to our system manager okay and one more thing I want to show you if I go to my EC2 dashboard and I go to connect okay and if I choose session manager it's throwing an error okay it's it's uh, giving a general error that either you don't have SSM agent installed or you don't have particular role to talk to AWS SSM. Okay, we'll talk about it later. So let's go back to our this and now let's go to quick setup. So what now we are telling we are telling that please assign this instance default AWS instance profile. And assume role for to, for AWS manager system manager to talk to our EC2 instance to our this instance. Okay, all these things can be configured now. We'll define which instance we need to apply all these rules. Okay, so I'll choose instance manually. You can uh, provide tags. So let's give it a name tag. Name tag. So as you can see, uh, system. Agent configuration has been gone to success and patch compliance. You can see is scanned. And for these two, I'm getting error, so that should be resolved. Okay. Now, if I go back here, refresh it, and go to connect. And now, if I go to session manager, okay. Now you can see error has been gone. Okay. Now, if I go to connect, what did we? It will do it will open a console like this and we are up in our EC2 instance you can you can do all your uh, normal day-to-day -day thing which you usually do, uh, do through your 
सिस्टम की ओके कूल सो लेट्स गो बैक टू आर सिस्टम मैनेजर and so all these things you can configure you can manage session from here also now let's go back and now go to our manage instance this is our instance which we have launched and now we can see that it has been showing in our manage instance okay so let's go ahead and create uh, and try to run one command uh, on this our ec2 instance remotely okay so before that let's go here and go to the security group what we're going to do we'll apply, we'll op open port 80 add rule this would be anywhere okay and i want to open http port okay cool not save rule now let's go back to our ec2 and now if i copy this server ip and go to here and press enter see the site can't be reached because uh, there is no apache server running on our ec2 instance okay so this is this is what we going to do we going to install apache in it and we'll try to access the apache from the ip so now let's go ahead and go to run commands okay now go to run command so for run commands uh, you have the all these following by default documents okay you need a command document to run a command in uh, your ec2 instance okay so these all documents has been provided by aws these all are default aws uh, documents so what we going to do we going to do we'll try to create a new doc document of our own and will then try to run those command in our ec2 instance okay so for that we'll go down and go to documents and we'll go to create document okay we'll give it a name apache installation now a command type would be a, a run command type okay now you can either create a document through of json or yaml so i'll go with yaml and this is our basic template which will create to run our command okay so i'll i'll remove this so this is a yaml file which i have created okay so i have created a uh, created uh, written a description simple description i have provided parameters parameter just like the value which i want user to uh, enter i have defined the parameter type that is string description i have already given default value i have set to this okay now main step here come the main step action i'm defining uh, to run a shell on a remote ec2 instance through aws uh, so aws ssn so here we are writing what action we want to perform through our this yaml code okay name i have already given configure apache now the all these commands will be run on our uh, remote ec2 instance okay now let's go to create document so a document has been created now let's go back to run command run a command i'll go owner and own by me so this is the command target uh, you can uh, as always uh, provide tags of your in of your instance on which you want to run this command you can either choose manually or choose a resource group you can also create a resource group okay so i'll choose manually and i want to run this on our this instance and you can configure sns also if you want to get some uh, notification about this run command okay now run so overall status is pending so let's wait for a while okay so our uh, command has been run successfully we can see that okay now let's go back to our ec2 instance and let's to copy our ip enter okay the site can't be reached it's still still it's showing the same error okay uh, no problem let's go ahead and go to our command which we have run owned by me and we'll check this if 
we have done any mistake okay so i think what we have done a typo mistake we have typed enable but instead of enable we have to write the start here okay so you can edit it out go to action and uh, you can create new version okay of these command now let's go back to our ec2 and go to connect and do a session manager let's connect sudo we'll do sudo hyphen i and we'll check if our service is running yes our service is not running as you can say nothing is running on port 80 so what we'll do we'll go ahead and enable our uh, we have already enabled our apache server but what we'll do we'll start our apache server okay so this is what our initial command was now let's go ahead and first of all let's check the status although we need not have to check it we already know that yes the service is inactive now let's go ahead and start the service all right now if i do net stat yes we can see our service has been started okay so this was a typo mistake from my side and you can fix this okay now let's go back what we'll do we'll reload it yes you have successfully installed apache this is what we have written in our command if you remember yes we have already uh, written as a default value and we can also check in our session manager we'll go to vim where www html index okay see so uh, i hope you get to understand what all things you can do with uh, aws ssm i know there are a lot of things you can configure you can configure resources you can create resources group you can set parameters store you can create automation and you can uh, uh, session we have already talked about run commands we have already talked about you can manage patches and like if you want to install uh, configure multiple patches on there are like 50 to 100 instances then you can configure all these through your aws system manager okay so i hope you get to understand what is system manager and how we can enable our instance to talk to our uh, aws system manager so hope you like the lecture